everybody, this is Mark with IELTS Tech 120 and these are some of the best things you can 3D print. Links to everything will be down in the description below so you can go ahead and print one for yourself. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First, we have our very own IELTS Tech 120 logo. I designed this myself and I think it looks really awesome. It's based on our logo and it's really cool. If you want to get one yourself, you can head over to that link down in the description below. You can buy one for yourself. We got multiple colors. We'll print it for you right here in Seattle. Got free shipping, we'll ship in three days. And if you have a 3D printer, you can also go ahead and buy the file for $1.50. So if you wanna do that, go ahead and click that link down in the description below and you can support our channel. Okay, now on to the rest of the stuff and we got some really good things. First, my far my favorite are these docks that I've made. So let's start with the white one. And this is a USB-C adapter holder. Now, if you have one of those new MacBook Pros, you may have lots of adapters lying around like me. So I custom made this for myself to hold all of these different adapters. Now, this next one I made to hold SD cards. I have lots of cameras and I need lots of cards for them. And just a good place to organize them. And I also have lots of USB drives. So I use this also to keep those in place but mainly I just keep them for my SD cards and my card reader. Next up, we got something that's really awesome. This is an Apple Watch dock. So it looks exactly like a Macintosh and that's what it is. It uses nightstand mode and gives your little Macintosh a display. Now I bought mine, but you can also go ahead and print one yourself. This is another thing that's really cool. I didn't print this myself. It actually was sent to me by MakerBot, but it's a little bolt and it's really cool how you can 3D print something that it looks this good and is that precise. Um, so again, I didn't print this, but I'll try to find something similar so you can make one for yourself. Now, if you have lots of bands for your Apple Watch, this is definitely something you need to check out. This is a band holder. So it holds your Apple Watch bands that are not in use. I have lots of them lying around. If you tip it, it won't fall, which is really awesome. You can connect multiple of them together so you can make your whole little strip of them and you can also hang them on the wall. If you're into technology and you need to keep your cables in place, this is a great option as well. It is a little cable holder. It uses a quarter in the bottom so it can stay on the table and it works and it does its job. As you may know, Lego sells a keychain, but who wants that when you can make your own? This is a Lego keychain. It works. It's exact size for Legos. It fits in. It looks really great. And if you're a big fan of keychains and you like Star Wars, this one might be for you as well. This is a Stormtrooper keychain. It looks great. I didn't change filament out in between because I only have one color, but you can make it black and white if you want. Something I haven't printed yet is a light switch label. I made this myself and I think it's really awesome because if you don't know what your light switch does, you can make these. It's a label for each light switch so you know what it is and you don't have to press a bunch of them and eventually get the right one. And as you may have heard, I make my own things to 3D print. So I'll drop a link to my profile on Thingiverse and you can download some of the things I've actually made myself. And finally, we have this little calibration device. It's meant to actually be used to make sure your printer is making the exact specifications for different sizes. It has one millimeter square all the way up to six, but you can also use it in place of a caliper if you don't have that lying around. And we can kind of use that as a tool to measure the thickness of things and you can also tell how well your printer will print at different thicknesses. But there you have it. Those are some of the coolest and the best things you can 3D print. If you have any suggestions for a future video, definitely leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos about 3D printing. This is Mark with IOPTECH120 and I will see you in the next one.